Todd in the music department and speaking a bit about the course next semester on Beethoven. It's an intense look at the life and music of Beethoven and uh, we'll be exploring several of his most famous compositions. There will be live musical examples and we'll also consider Beethoven's influence uh, on the composers and many composers who followed him. So the workload will involve um, reading a biography of Beethoven. There are many wonderful ones and doing a lot of listening to his music to become familiar with uh, several of his compositions. Uh, there'll be two short papers and probably one or two short listening quizzes. So what it is about Beethoven's music that, that grabs us is that it's dramatic. It's based essentially on the idea of conflict and resolution. He sets up conflicts in his music. And he does this in many, many ways. Everybody knows the opening of the Fifth Symphony. Which begins with a little burst of energy and then immediately it stops dead in its tracks. And then it starts again and stops dead in its tracks. So Beethoven here is here setting up a, a conflict between the idea of music as a dynamic, forward-looking uh, art form and something that is more static. And that's a conflict that has to be resolved over the course of that symphony. Yeah, as a pianist, you know, the Waldstein Sonata. Well, it's percussive. He's using the piano at the beginning almost as if it's a drum, some kind of percussive effect, and then it becomes more melodic. The violin sonatas, there are ten of those, they're all great. Um, the symphonies, nine of those, they're all great. Um, the string quartets, uh, you know, it's very hard to find something where there's not something uh, of uh, deep musical interest. Yeah, there's so many standard pieces of Beethoven. You know, the nine symphonies, we'll probably look at the fifth symphony, the sixth symphony, the ninth symphony, which is a piece that Leonard Bernstein performed at the uh, in 1989 when the Berlin Wall came down. We'll look at several of his piano sonatas, chamber works. I'll probably bring in some colleagues to play some of them, so we'll have live demonstrations. question about Beethoven's relevance for us today uh, in the 21st century. Several years ago, I used to go to a pizzeria down on 15501 with my tennis friends. After we had played three sets of tennis, we'd go there every week and have pizza and some beer. And uh, uh, over the door on a shelf, they had a bust, a little bust of Beethoven. And I used to think, you know, what's he doing here? What does he, what does he have to do with, you know, uh, where we are in Durham today? And uh, I thought more and more about it and came to the conclusion that, you know, Beethoven, in a sense, is really everywhere. He is, you know, not only one of the great musical geniuses of all time, but he's a musician who really shared his musicality uh, in a very frank and telling way. And uh, so if you take this course, you have an opportunity not only to listen to great music and get into it and wrestle with what makes it great, uh, but ideally you're also going to discover things about yourself, your approach to music, and your own musicality.